New at 10, nine local heroes were honored today for their life-saving efforts when a woman went into cardiac arrest at a local car dealership. It happened in October of last year, but today the woman got to thank her rescuers in person. NBC 15's Laura Barczewski is live from that dealership tonight. Laura, you witnessed that special moment, right? Greg and Kim, it was a very special moment. The survivor, Lisa, says she's so thankful for everyone that had a hand in saving her life, and she's grateful for the extra time she now has to spend with her family. Nurse Shannon Lambeth says she was getting her car serviced at Spring Hill Toyota when Lisa Perry had a heart attack. I just listened to her for a minute. I was doing work on my phone, so I didn't look up, you know, and all of a sudden I heard her gas and when that's when I looked at her and I knew that she had you know passed. So she jumped into action along with two other nurses that also happened to be at the dealership. We kept our mask on. We did not give her respirations. Um, that's what we were worried about you know and she made it and she came out alive. Thank God Spring Hill had the AED here. Um, we knew how to use it. We put it into action and that's why she's here. Lisa says she doesn't remember the day very much at all. I was told that I had a, my heart went out of rhythm. I had a heart attack. But I had stayed into a medically induced coma for like a month and a half, so I don't have a lot of memory. Mobile Fire Chief Jeremy Lamy says out of 500,000 cardiac arrests that happen every year, outside of the hospital, only about 10% of people live, but nearly half survive if someone performs CPR. I mean, this is very rare. Uh, to see this happen out of the hospital and for her to be able to speak with you today. So we're just extremely thankful that she's here today and that her family was able to spend more time with her over the Christmas holidays. Lisa says it was very scary for her family, but she's so thankful for everyone who helped save her life. It means a lot to be here with them and it means a lot to them that I'm still here. Chief Lamey says there are two things that really make a difference in these life saving events. One of them is having an AED on site at your business or place of work and having employees trained in CPR. He says these two things can make the difference between life and death. Reporting live in Mobile, Laura Barcheski, NBC 15 News.